the future is here. We live in an era where everything is smart, so why not take it a step further and make a smart city? Neom, a smart region being developed in Saudi Arabia, has a smart city called The Line. This will be home to 9 million people living in interconnected societies run by artificial intelligence designed to coexist with nature. Would this city benefit the people living in it? Let's find out as we go through what it actually is. First off, what exactly is The Line? At first glance, the idea appeared to be two parallel structures rising 500 meters above sea level with mirrors serving as their exterior walls. That would make it seem that nothing is there in the middle of the desert, but in reality, there would be a whole city that's far ahead of its time. The Line is a linear city that will be constructed on a footprint of only 34 square kilometers. It is located within Neom, in the northwest of Saudi Arabia. Over 9 million people will eventually live in the metropolis. The city can meld into the surrounding nature thanks to its mirror facade. The Line, once entirely completed, would make it the third most important building in the country, after the Abraj al Bayit clock tower and the proposed Jeddah Tower, and approximately the 12th tallest building in the world. The OT Sky Drone firm, based in Saudi Arabia, published drone footage of the line being built. According to the clip, excavators can be seen digging a large hole in the desert for the 170-kilometer linear city that is being created in the kingdom's Tabuk province. The city's vertically tiered settlements will challenge conventional flat, horizontal cities and establish a model for improved human livability and the preservation of nature. By considerably upgrading building technology and manufacturing, manufacturing processes, the city's design will be entirely digitalized, and the construction will be industrialized significantly. Next, does the line feel natural? Within a two-minute walk across its varied open spaces, suspended on many levels, the forward-thinking architecture provides quick and uninterrupted access to nature. All people will have equal access to the surrounding mountains, sky, and natural landscape while preventing urban growth because of a smaller infrastructural footprint. The city will be carbon neutral by removing carbon-intensive infrastructures like vehicles and highways. Even the operations of its industries will run entirely on renewable energy. The use of open spaces and natural elements throughout will significantly improve the air quality, not to mention the availability and comfort. A five-minute walk will take you to everything you need in your daily life, and a super-fast public transportation system will get you there in no time. Artificial intelligence will be the driving force behind automated services. More leisure time will result from fewer commutes. Residents will have more money available because they won't have to pay for parking, gas, and car insurance. The line will run on 100% renewable energy, have no roads, automobiles, or emissions, and preserve 95% of the area for nature because of its smaller infrastructural footprint. The city is designed to place a higher priority on health and happiness than on transportation and infrastructure. It'll have the ideal climate all year long, and a high-speed rail system which will allow residents to travel from point A to point B in just 20 minutes. The line will be built in stages, block by block, module by module, in a manner that meets demand. It's the first time in one 150 years that significant urban development has been designed around people, not roads. Walkability will define life in the city with all essential daily services. Each square will be self-sufficient and include amenities like shops and schools so that anything people need will be a five-minute walk or bicycle ride away, similar to Barcelona's traffic-free superblocks. An ideal combination of sunlight, shade, and natural ventilation has been built into the environment to facilitate the formation of microclimactic areas. But not only that, the city's green open open spaces will improve comfort for those who live, work, and visit the city. What makes the line so special? To start off, the line would have a mirror-like exterior, allowing it to blend with nature. It'll be the first city in the world that'll be able to generate renewable energy, including wind, solar, and hydrogen. It is intended to have no streets, cars, or carbon emissions. The line would also be the world's first zero-gravity vertical city. Zero-gravity urbanism overlaps city functions vertically, while allowing individuals to move freely in all three directions, up, down, or across to reach them. Also to improve transportation, a hypertrain line will traverse the city, which it is claimed will allow people to travel from one end of the city to the other in 20 minutes. A renewable energy system will be used to power this train route, but it doesn't end here. Residents will be compensated for providing data to the line, which artificial intelligence will monitor to uncover methods to improve daily living for its inhabitants. What if we replace outdated urban services with new services driven by artificial intelligence? What if we built the line? 
The line will address the issues that modern urban life presents to humans and suggest better lifestyle options. We cannot ignore the environmental and livability crises that our world cities are experiencing, and NEOM is leading the charge in providing innovative solutions to deal with these problems. Let's look at the line in a linear fashion. The line is part of the NEOM project, an essential component of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, which calls for utilizing cutting-edge urban construction technology to establish an economic zone free of fossil fuels. The aim for this is that Saudi Arabia will be able to compete with its regional rival, the United Arab Emirates, by raising non-oil generated wealth thanks to Riyadh's ability to draw foreign investment and global corporations. The fundamental philosophy of a city should stay the same no matter what form of the city is constructed. A city's economy, environment, and equity all contribute to its quality. A city that exaggerates one factor to the expense of the others becomes unbalanced over time and can no longer be sustained. While the ideas, economic, technological, and environmental aspects have been extensively discussed, it is still being determined how egalitarian the city will be and who will be able to pay to live there. Even the COVID-19 pandemic had little impact on how quickly the city was being built. Economic recovery is the top political priority for all nations in the wake of the pandemic. Because of this, Saudi Arabia won't have any trouble filing any labor shortages that may arise during the project's development and funding. Now, does the line sound too good to be true? Achieving the sleek, futuristic look associated with the project would be difficult despite such extensive urban planning for a ton of reasons. Although it'd be lovely to live in a place described as the line, the reality of a life inside the smart city would be an entirely different story. The exterior would look clean, but the inside would suffer with all the extra wind flows. This will cause a lot of heat to get in, and it won't be a pleasant experience. Instead of the city's aesthetic appeal, the quality of life would likely depend on how efficiently it was run. Life would feel very robotic, and the natural way of life would slowly fade away. Due to agreements that would misrepresent permission for sharing data and Saudi Arabia's questionable human rights record, the city's data collecting plan could turn it into a surveillance city. Saudi Arabia has a personal data protection statute, and the NEOM coordinators are working to resolve privacy issues. But one realistic plus side with the line is that there'd be no use in spending a lot of money, so people will save up and have double the money. There would be several options to take that would no longer require spending any money. Lastly, think of it realistically. The possibilities are exciting if the proposal goes as planned. After all, minimizing and adjusting to the accelerating effects of climate change requires totally altering the norm in how cities are developed and run to cut greenhouse gas emissions. The success of Saudi Arabia's dramatic response would be benchmark for developing sustainable city planning in the future. At the same time, it's essential to consider what this kind of project stands for and what it leaves behind in Saudi Arabia and worldwide. Looking at it for the first time, it seems like a place that's being made that's entirely focused on human life and making life easier. However, there are a lot of criticisms already, such as, it really looks and sounds like heaven for us humans, our daily activities being so close to us, and we'd be doing the bare minimum and achieving a lot. In reality, it would be suffocating to live like that, and people would mostly come to visit for a vacation. Also, to achieve the fantastic minimal and unique character that the rendering suggests, many physical and environmental phenomena would need to be considered. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and let us know down in the comments. Would you be visiting Saudi Arabia's The Line once it's ready to visit? Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.